Hello friends, welcome to our channel and today I will show you what is a non-compact tray and how to draw a non-compact tray and also how how a given word can be searched in a non-compact tray. So I have already given the definition of a tray which is used to store the words that is it is a dictionary of words. It is used to store the words efficiently and a non-compact tray is the same but it takes a little more space than the compact tray. So let us see what is a non-compact try. Okay. So we will see it by using an example. Suppose we take we take five words and we want to store it. The five words given are like this. Suppose we take big. We take bigger. We take bill. Good. Gosh. So these are the five words which we want to store in the non-compact try. So, in a non-compact tree, every age will contain a single character. Okay, and it is a KRE type tree. That means a particular node can have K different branches. Okay, so here we will start with the root node. We draw a node. Okay, now suppose we want to store the first character. So, we will store every character starting from the very beginning. So, we want to store B. So, in order to store a character we will take an age so we will take an age and write in here b so b has been has been stored suppose we next want to store i so we draw a node write in here i okay i has been covered now we want to store g so for g again you make a node and in here g so b i g has been covered in a try we always end a string with a dollar symbol so here we put a dollar okay you have given the word big but dollar has been appended so we take again a dollar and the leaf always is the complete word like b i g dollar okay so this is the word now suppose you want to store bigger so for bigger we st you you start with b b has already been covered from the root node now you move on to i i has already been covered you move on to g g has already been covered now you store again a g but after g here you can see that a dollar is the symbol and then the word is ending but you want g e r so from g you will make a branch again you want a g so you will put in here g and then you want an e okay after that e you want an r so this will become bigger b i g g e r this is bigger and then you can end it with a dollar a word always ends with a dollar so put in here bigger and then dollar this is a word okay now now suppose you want to store bill you will always start start store checking from the root node so b is already present so you need not draw an nh for b after b you have i i has already been covered now you need to have l and again an l so you can see in here that after i there is g and no l so for l you need to do a branching so you will create a branch for l and again there is an l so for that you will again do like this and this is bill p i l l and after that you will store it using dollar and write in here bill dollar now similarly you want to store suppose good so you will start searching for g from the very root from the root you have only one option of b so there is no option for g so you need to create an h for g so you will create an h for g after that you have double o and d similarly you will include double o by adding the edges double o and then d this is good g o o d now the word has ended and you will append it that means you will end it with a dollar symbol and write in here the word and then the dollar symbol now similarly store gosh now you will search for g from the root g is already present here next is o o is already present next is s s is not present because after o o is coming so you need to do a branching for s and then after s you have h so in here you will store h 
and then the word has ended G U S H. After ending the word, you will append it by using a dollar and write in here gosh dollar. Okay, now you can see that all the words have been covered. You can start from the root node and you can check for each and every word like B I G dollar. This is big, this is bigger, bill, good, and then gosh. Okay, now every every tree by default has a null null string so for storing the null string you will branch a dollar for it dollar and give in here dollar this is the word this is the null word and it is always contained in a try okay now we have covered how to draw a try that means how the words of the dictionary are stored in the try structure this is a non compact try so the next we, next we will see is given words how can we search how can we search for that word okay now suppose you want to search for good okay now g will be taken and it will be checked from the root from the root we have g so this is the path that will be taken this is the path after that you have o so o is present this is the path that will be taken after o you have again an o after o we ha you have two options o and s since o is the path you want to take so this will be taken and this path will be taken okay after that you need to you need to check for d d is present okay then this path will be, will be taken and then after that you are ending your word that means by default it will be dollar so it is dollar and the good word has been found and the return will be yes your word has been found and the word will be returned now suppose you want to search for a word which is not present in try suppose you gave bad okay so for bad it will start searching from the root node since you have been here so this branch will be taken after that you need to search for a but after b i is i is coming so a is not present and therefore here it will be understood at this point of time it will be understood that the word is not present so it will return you no so here you will get no the word is not present so this is how you search for the words in a non compact try you can stick with our channel for the for for more types of tries like i will be showing you what is a compact try and how to draw it and patricia suffix tree and so on and so forth so Hope to see you in our in our next lecture. Thank you.